online or offline marketing, which is for you. Point 4. We have seen that you more than likely have the major tools you require to start. So where do you begin? First and foremost, you will need to acquire the skills to create a website, or if you are particularly well healed, you might consider obtaining the services of a website design firm. Beware, these can be expensive and they might not give you exactly what you want. Far better to wait and perhaps do a little research into what might attract the target market you will ultimately be aiming your product or service at. Far better to start learning the mechanics of website construction and getting your first website online. You will, I promise, feel a great deal of self-satisfaction when your first creation is up and running online. This holds especially true if like me, you always regarded the internet as a no-go area for anyone over the age of 30. It is very true that youngsters are probably more adept at absorbing the information needed, but there is nothing to prevent us more mature youngsters from making inroads onto the information superhighway. Learn it once, learn it well, and then repeat it. Simple, whilst learning how to build your first website online, you should start to think seriously about what you want to promote once you have your own website. You may already have that gem of an idea, but you can of course sell or promote anything, well, within reason and within the bounds of decency. Though this envelope has expanded over the years as to what is acceptable to put before the public, it is said that the first thing you should consider promoting is something you are passionate about or do you have a particular skill that someone else might want to learn. Consider the possibilities, they are almost endless. Can you grow prize-winning flowers and vegetables? Can you complete DIY projects to a professional standard? Do you have any advice on decorating that someone might find helpful? All these are assailable as physical products. The internet is all about information, that's why it's called the information superhighway, and although there are many ways to obtain free information in many cases people are happy to pay for good solid information. It saves time and time, like everything else, has an intrinsic value and should not be wasted. There are many people who would rather pay a few dollars than spend hours fruitlessly searching for something. Well, are you intrigued? This is probably the best time ever to consider the internet as a method of increasing revenue for you and yours in the future. Your retirement could be so much more comfortable with the extra income. So grasp the nettle and make a start today, you may be pleasantly surprised at what you can achieve with that idea and how inexpensive it really is to start your own online business. Music